what is it about? Like, what is, is it something on my face? It's the end of the week. It's my mirror light outside at this time, but. This person down here between my legs. Um, because I don't need a growing bake right there like that. I, Good morning, y'all, and happy freaking Wednesday. Yes, we are at the middle of the week. But before we get in too much into talking, let me ask y'all to go ahead on and make sure y'all watch my whole entire video. Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all like in my video. Make sure y'all comment on my video. Make sure you're sharing it with everybody that you know. And um, make sure you and everybody that you know are subscribing. Make sure y'all subscribing because... I just be talking, and I like when people talk back, so yeah, that's about it, but the week has been good so far, and not too bad, um, I mean, I'm just here, I'm just here watching, watching and seeing how things are going, seeing it all play out, you know, the usual. The usual we watch how things play out but on the other hand the work week is almost over mm -hmm. the work week is almost over and that makes me happy it makes me smile it definitely does. Oh my God, come on, dude. It's too much going on. I ain't gonna say, <laughs> I got a whole bunch going on up here, but um, why are we sitting at this light, dude? Um, because that's what we're supposed to do, right? Why is this air pumped up so hard? We could turn it down. It's like early in the morning or whatever, and yeah, we took them out of turning the air down while we are on our way. And just you know, I mean, talking to y'all, just me talking to y'all. Y'all ever be, y'all ever be on the phone with people and like you can hear everything that goes on, on on their phone. Like you can hear the sound when a text message comes through and you can also hear the sound when their phone is ringing. But they try to act like they don't hear their phone ringing. Like answer your phone because I'm going to answer mine. Answer your phone. Why we acting like we don't have phones ringing? I don't know. Nobody go home. We know it, it, it ain't no bill collectors at 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not a bill collector at 9 o'clock, so just answer the phone. It might be your mama, sister, cousin, brother, you know. It might be anybody. It might be somebody important. A family member. We'll never know what to call maybe. So just answer. Unless we will not be knowing tonight. You can tell me you'll call me back. Tell me, tell me you're going to call me back. Tell me that you're going to call me back. Because... You know, I be seeing stuff. I be seeing it for what it is. So stop being like that with the people. <laughs> stop being like that with the people, baby. Because that's not how you're supposed to be.
bitch. It's supposed to be the only. What are you doing? I'm sure you see that the car's right on the side of you. Crazy. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Some of us call baby Friday, Friday Eve, you know, the, the day before the day, it's before the weekend, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we like to call it. And, um, I'm just here this morning, man. Um, me and one of my friends are talking. And I was talking to him, and it was like, I was like, you know, what is it? I asked him, I said, what is it about men that they could know when they have, like, the greatest thing? That this, like, what is it in a man that no matter what, he's going to cheat? And you know him being a man, he was coming up with all the greatest it's not about that. It's, you gotta. Yeah, of course. You communicate. But we started talking about different, like, dating styles and stuff like that. And I was like, I'm just trying to figure out, like, for myself, like, what is it that make you attract the same type of people? Like, you're always attracting a cheater. You're always attracting a liar. Like, what is it about like what was is it something on my face like is it something on my face that see like is it something on not just me though not just me in particular just like women in general is it something about women in general that just automatically make a man feel like because i'm like you can't feel like with me you can't feel like Oh, because she is a person that I'm a confident person, so I'm not gonna just talk to somebody because I'm hard up or desperate. I'm, I had never been hard up or desperate. I never been hard up or desperate. Um, I don't know if I mean, shucks, I don't, I really don't know. Maybe trying to figure life out. I should not be my age and trying to figure out not life but people. I should be at this age in my life that's instead of trying to figure out people. Like what makes them think the way they think? Like why do we act the way they act? Like I just don't get it. I'm not perfect, Patty. I'm not perfect by a long shot. I'm not a perfect person, but damn. But I'm a good person. And we were so then we got on a subject about how people date or whatever. And it's like how you get how you get how you know these people, how you get to know these people, like how you meet these people. And we was discussing like all about stuff like that, and, like how you get to know a person. And it's like so do these people like when you talk to somebody do they start like do they are they like that in the beginning i'm like fuck no like if somebody was acting was acting a certain way in the beginning when you first meet them then who would actually like really just talk to that person it was like you know we was talking about the whole like dating thing like how it should be when you get to know a person you see people so you have to talk to the person that you talk to communication Talk to the person that you talk to. Spell shit. Let them know what's up. Let them feel comfortable with letting you know what's up. Like, what it is with them, what it is with you. You know, what's the deal with your situation. All of that stuff like that. And then, like, when it comes to your date. And he was like, so, if you call me and was like, I'm 
did this, I did that, I did this, I did that. No need to call them because a person know what you do for them. A person know exactly what you do for them. And they know exactly what they do for you. So it's like, what are we calling for? if you're going to cheat on them. Like, period. Don't be with a person if you feel you have to be untruthful. Because your untruthfulness is because you're cheating. Like, if, you gotta, if you're going to cheat, you're going to lie. If you're going to lie, you're going to steal. If you're going to steal, you're going to kill. Yeah, I said it. And I think I said it a little backwards. But I'm going to say, if you're going to lie, you're going to cheat. If you're going to cheat. No, I think I said it right the first time. If you're going to cheat, you're going to lie. If you're going to lie, you're going to steal. If you steal, you're going to kill. That's it. And the cheating part probably was never in a scenario, but that's my scenario. That's how I see it. And I need to see it of uh, what I'm gonna put on my lips because they feel dry. Oh yeah, it's in it. No, it's in this little seat. Oh no, no, we don't take our eyes off the road. That's what we don't do. I need this. 
much these things is thirsty. Cause right behind this little truck right here. It's not the answer. I feel a little bit better. I don't know. It's like I never can find the right. Whatever. For my lips. To feel. Mm, to feel how they should feel. You know? Even if they look moisturized, they don't feel. Moisturized. You know? You know, you know, you know? Mm -hmm. You know? I had to set up in gym shows just about my whole ride. Going to work. Well, you know. They have topics, conversa like, sh conversations just we need to be had. Like, sometimes we just pay to talk to somebody. Like, to just get the clear understanding of how people are. Benefit of the doubt. I was like, girl, fuck the benefit and the doubt, okay? Fuck the benefit because I'm doubting that shit. But that's what I'm saying. Forget the benefit because I'm doubting it. What? Girl, mm -mm. you ain't give nobody no benefit on uh, no benefit of the doubt. Cause they gonna do what they gonna do regardless. I know what I'm talking about is all over the place, but. It all coincides with one another. It all go together. Just differently. Stop school bus. Friday. It's the end of the week. It's normally real light outside at this time, but we got the rain. We got the rain. I'm not going to be on here. Hello. I don't know what they doing. But we got the rain. Yo. Know, when somebody have a problem with something with you, and instead of coming to you with the problem, they go to somebody else. But the crazy part is that somebody else that they go to is a messy person. So they're gonna shoot you about it. So in order for you to know that that person have a problem about something, anything to do with you, you only know it because of you hear the messy person whispering when you walk from out of room. That shit don't sit right with me. And I don't, fuck, and I don't like it. 
what are we gonna see? Because everybody switches up, so. Here we go. So here we go. Sorry, I'm coming down, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Good morning, y'all, and happy Saturday. Real life, I thank God every day for deliverance. I thank God for the way that he changed me. And I just got to keep on doing better by myself. Like, by me, like for me. I have to keep doing better for me. Because you let people come into your life and they interrupt shit. And don't even know it. People come in your life and interrupt shit. They don't even know it. Or they know they interrupted it, but fuck. They so selfish to the fact they so selfish to the fact of things being the way they want them to be so they don't give a fuck if they interrupt somebody else's life. And we have to be mindful of people like that. <laughs> we have to be mindful of people like that. But I'm on my way on this Saturday morning to go and wash my Clothes. I don't know why they be having this speed thing on the street right here. Like it really don't make sense for it to be here, okay? Your speed is 23. The speed limit 20. I normally do 25 or 30. What? I just really do like in real life. I pray for peace and positivity like peace and positivity positive people in my life not people that's negative not people that's gonna be negative drawing down on you adding negative negativity onto your spirit like people who want to be around you like people who don't want to be around you shouldn't be around you like people who feel a certain way towards you they should like if you feel a certain way towards a person you shouldn't be around that person you shouldn't throw your negative spirit on that person. You shouldn't throw your negative vibes that you have on that person. I don't like people like that. And like even people like in relationships, like in relationships, if you, if a person wants something that you don't want and you know that you don't want what that person wants in a relationship, go. Keep moving because what you're holding, like, if you know you don't want what that person want in a relationship, you should definitely keep moving. Because why be selfish? Why be selfish and have that person around when you know that what that person want is not what you want? Or that person not the person that you want? That shit is stupid. It's foolish. That's some real foolish, stupid ass shit. Excuse my language early this morning, but it be some real life stuff. Like people, people, people are selfish. There are some very selfish human beings. Like allow, like allow people to have their happiness, whatever their happiness is. Let them have it. When you when you're doing wrong to people that are good people, it, it's gonna come back to you tenfold. It's gonna come back to you tenfold, and you gonna regret it. God look over His people. And I'm not 100% Christian. I'm not full on as, you know, as people, as a lot of people are. But I'm a believer. I have true, full faith in God. And it's just like, <clears throat> for people to play on people, play on their face, play on their top, however you want to put it. Like, for what? For what? What's the reason? 
Just let that shit go. Go have what you really want and what you don't want and let it go. What's the sense of holding on to something that you don't want? What's, what's the sense of holding on to something that you don't want? I think that's crazy. I really think that's crazy. Lord, I need some, somebody kind of chapstick. I have all this stuff in this purse. But um, I'm going to see what it is in a minute. I'm going to this in this house. I'm going to wash my stuff and I guess chill. But let me get a mask. Because I'm... Um, because <laughs> the children around here be sick and our best and my mama they all be around here my la niece had covid and was just in my mama's house that's how i got sick the first time i had covid the first time I had COVID, that's how I got sick. The day, the day she found out she had COVID, she was by my mom's house that morning. I said, "Why you check yourself for COVID?" Yeah, I took a test that was in the house. When, wh where you got the test from? How old is the test? How new is the test? I'm wearing a mask. I am. For an example, I'm gonna put one on. I'll be back sitting here <clears throat> waiting on my mama our bestie to come out of Rouse's she left her phone in the car all I need though is for her to be in the store looking for the because she's done that before left her phone and found somebody to call the phone and her phone was in the car But I feel like crap. I've washed and folded all my clothes and I just want to go home. After 3 o'clock, I haven't ate nothing yet. And I kind of don't care. Uh -uh. <clears throat> go home and put my clothes away and clean my bathroom down. Sweeping my, my floors, vacuum in the room. Just so wanted to have carpeting. Take me a bath and relax. Yep. I always be looking like this. My girl brother wife. <laughs> she always coming out to the every time she sees me like Nikki. You getting skinny. I say candy. I might be losing weight, but I'm not getting skinny. I'm losing weight but getting skinny. And that's not happening. Like the second person they always the second person besides the other person they always see. They always think that I'm getting skinny. But being skinny. Skinny ain't never been in my vocabulary. I told my girl, but I said, Nate, tell Candy, I ain't never had no skinny days, huh? Was a chubby little kid. Just started off as a chubby teenager. And then started getting big fine, love. Mm -hmm. Then started getting big fine. I plan on going to church in the morning. And just my sinuses, but I'm going to wear a mask. I'm gonna wear a mask. This person down here between my legs. Um, I want to say that I wish I had chapstick in my purse. I'm more than sure I do. I'm probably dehydrated and everything else. Because I haven't even drank anything today. I haven't eaten anything or drank anything at all today. Girl, I have this pencil in my purse. I hate the fact that I have it in here. Um. It's not even mine. I took it from a kid last school year because they took it from somewhere they wasn't supposed to take it from. And I never got a chance to put it back because I was using this during leak testing. They, I was in a class during leak testing and they kept on touching stuff and it kept on ending up out of the classroom that I was in. And I took it from them and I never put it back and I just not looked down in my purse and seen that it was still in there. 
I never used this little purse, this little bag right here. Say sleep testing, what's going on? I know that I'm starting to get a headache. she think but I don't feel good I feel like my head just gonna bust right now and Lord knows the only thing I want is for her to just come out the store just come out the store so I can go that's the only thing I want y'all I'm not even gonna tell y'all what I'm looking at right now cause I swear So I understand they, these men, boys, whatever you want, they won't consider themselves, came out with this Gucci daddy short thing or whatever, but the look is not for everybody. The look not for everybody. And I hope that she come and put this cake on the front by her, because I'm not driving no special kind of way. I really need to get my life together. Um, I hope I sound better. I feel a little bit better. I came home yesterday after I dropped my mom off. Well, yesterday when I was in my mom's house, I was talking to my little cousin and she was like, oh, she was buying turkey next. So I was like, oh, I think that's what I should fix me to eat. It was late yesterday evening, and I still cooked it. I never would have cooked that after no 4 o'clock in the evening, but I did. And that's what I ended up eating last night after 8 o'clock. I normally don't eat after 7. I try my best not to, but that's life, and it happened. Um, Got up, went to church this morning. Got up, went to church this morning, and came home and cooked my little beans. My little red beans. And I've just been inside today, relaxing, chilling. I ain't been coming on, making no love videos every day like I should. I've been coming on like in the mornings, but not coming back like I'm supposed to. And my bad. Um, I want a tattoo. I'm ready to go and get one. I'm waiting for my little cousin to come back down here. And I'm going to go get one. I want to get like something on my forearm. I want, like, my whole forearm. <clears throat> I do. Um, I still have this one nostril. It's like, if I could, I used, like, this morning when I got up, I used the saline water. I used the nasal spray, which I think I'm about to go do it again. I'm going to do the saline water, and I'm going to do the nasal spray. And, um, and hopefully it just finished opening up this side some. I still have the little humidifier on, giving me a little what it's giving. A little VIX. <clears throat> Let me turn this down because they're a little bit too loud in my background. I don't mind watching other people things when I'm watching it, but when it get loud, like, no, I got to turn you down. I, I got to, I need to, I really need to get better because I want to wash my hair. But I'm kind of like almost not caring and going to just work this shit and have to deal with whatever the kind. I mean, I'm already sick, so what the thing? It's just me here, so and anybody else going to get sick. I wear a mask when I'm at work around the kids because even though they're the ones who originally got me sick, I wouldn't get them sick. <clears throat> but yeah, that's about it. I, um, I really want to feel better because I need to feel better by next weekend. We have a three-day weekend, and I just need to get out of this house. I need to get out of this house and go do something. Just me. <clears throat> I guess my mama. Oh, no, but I did tell my dad Saturday that we was going to come over there. 
Oh, God. She's trying to get all kind of stuff, but the other stuff I don't want. I'm the, the chair, yes, but the other stuff, mm-mm. I'm good. Because when I do this patio, when I do it, like when I do this patio the way I want to do it, it's going to be like, with the stuff that I want, it's going to be like a little lounge thing. Because I've been supposed to get like the pop-up tent thing to put in there. And I guess it may have to wait until October since nobody will never be in my house during the daytime. <clears throat> I may have to wait until October when I'm on my own. When we on our fall break, so I can call them and let them come cut all this stuff down inside my patio. It's driving me crazy. But once I get that cut down, then I'm going to get my little, I'm going to get a pop-up tent. And I'm going to get the lights to hang on the thing. I'm going to get a patio set. But I don't know who I'm going to get to put it together yet. If not, if my little brother can't do it for me, I'll, um, the man who hung up my TVs and stuff and moved my stuff when I moved, I'll, um, I'll call him and just pay him to do it. But that's what I'm going to do. Because when the little winter months come and it get cool, I think I'm going to sit on my, you know, spend a lot of time on my pay. Yes, Nick. Oh my! Oh, I just seen a message, and it's like, mm hmm. Gotta feel you. They definitely gotta feel you more. But anyway, um, yeah, like just spend time on my patio because it's nice and it's spacious. And I put my big pop up tent. I'm definitely um when they cut that, sh I'm gonna find some kind of weed killer or something because. I don't need a growing back right there like that. I I can't stand it. I'm not an outside girl. And for all that to be like that and all those lizards just to be everywhere, I'm going to make sure I get me a citron. I think it's called the citronella candle to be able to put on the little table that I'm going to have to be able to burn because it's going to be like a more evening time thing. I'm more than sure I'm going to be out there. Yay. Start relaxing on the weekends. Even if I don't go nowhere, I could sit outside on my patio, drink me some wine, and listen to my music. And enjoy the outdoors. <clears throat> That's it. Yeah. So I'm going to do something I should have been did. Something I've been said I wanted to do. Just never did it. But I really want to make sure I have it done for like when the cooler months come. So like it'll be cool and it won't be bad. I could just draw on a little sweater. And then have my little candle lit and have my little light hanging on my fence. Or I, I can either hang the lights on the fence or I can hang them on the tent that I'll put out there. But I make sure the tent is like, I guess kind of you could say like wired down like those, um, I forgot what those little things are called, the little plastic ties that you could, y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway. <laughs> I use them to connect the fence to the thing. So if we do start having like strong winds and stuff, it'll be fine. And I won't have to like worry about it coming up or nothing like that. And that'll be the chill spot. Because I swear, I need to relax on the weekends. I don't. And I need to start. Yeah. She buying on um, the Jiffy um, Honey Cornbread Mix. If I don't eat cornbread... But if I do, that'll be the only kind that I'll buy because it tastes good if you fix it right. But I'm not really a cornbread person. Like, I made beans. I didn't make no cornbread. I put the sausage and the pickle and the pigtail, whatever you want to call it in it. I'm not going to eat all that. Definitely not going to eat all that. I could freeze it, but if I freeze it, would I eat it? I don't know. But I do know that I finished cooking earlier. That's the only thing that have to be. I had been put the other stuff in the refrigerator. But since I know I'm not going to eat, I know for a fact I'm not eating anything else today. Um, I may, I guess, eat from the beans a second time. It's a kind of difficult task for me when it comes down to beans. I may put me a little bit in a bowl for work tomorrow. And um, 
and that'll be it. Either I'm going to freeze them or I'm going to give them to my niece now. So I was feeling like, man, I'm going to up throwing all the shit away. But waste not one. Now, I, my mama, I don't believe in wasting food. And I try not to be like that. So either I'm going to freeze it for another time or I'm going to give it to them. So, yeah. And when I'm going to have a chance to give it to them, I don't know. Because it depends on if, like, I get off from work and then come home and then go bring it to them. Then, yeah, but... Uh, Y'all know. I see. I will see. But I'm about to get myself together for work. I'm going to make a little short video to post because I try to post at least twice a week. And... I'm going to talk to y'all. If you've gotten to this point, I'm more than sure that that means you've watched the whole entire video. Thank you. Thank you. And a, a thank you. Okay. And make sure y'all liking it. That good thumbs up. Make sure y'all comment because I respond. Make sure y'all sharing it with your social media and your friend in them. Uh-huh. Make sure your friend in them sharing it with they friend and them so make sure you tell a friend and she tell a friend and then tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend, friend. uh-huh share it with everybody you know your mama sister daddy brother uncle cousin grandpa them with everyone because that's what we do but most importantly make sure yourself right along with everybody that you shared it with go ahead on and hit that bell so you could be notified every time your girl heard me pretty nikki yeah every time i post a new video Every time I post a new video, because why not? Whether I'm talking about something, whether I'm just running it, whether I'm ranting about something that's going on, no matter what it is, I'm going to give y'all something to talk about. Sometimes we may laugh. Sometimes it might be like, yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. But I'm going to love y'all and also leave y'all. I'm going to bake. Be bake. I'll be back in the AM. I'm going to finish enjoying my Sunday. Love you all. The power that works in you. Sometimes